panhandlers, the homeless, they usually don't get along with the police. Yeah, but a pair of Phoenix cops shredding that stereotype. Instead of handcuffs, they're offering a hand up to one homeless man. ABC 15's Jason Valentine has this inspiring story. I was on that corner underneath the bridge. 13 years homeless. And I was panhandling right there. Billy Walston wrote sign for a buck when two cops pulled up. Seemed down on his luck, disheveled. I'm thinking I'm going to jail. At first, it sure seemed that way. I told him, you know, um, you can't be here. This is uh, state property and technically you're trespassing. I said, it figures. We're going to be at then, sir. At that moment, Officer Chris Gallegos and his partner, Officer Benjamin Zamora, made Billy a promise. He said, well, if you're serious about getting off the streets, I could help you. The officers had to finish taking someone to jail, but told Billy if he waited, they would be back. He said, OK. I was tired of people burning me. I was tired of people messing with me. I was tired of people looking down on me. To understand why Billy was so tired, you need to know how he became homeless. Drunk one night, he crashed a car. I, a, I was in a like a body like a body cast for like four months. He lost his right leg and killed his brother. Went to prison, abandoned by his mom and family. He tried suicide, then drugs and the streets. Um, I, my tibia and my fibia went through my ankle. So the day Billy met the officers, he decided to wait. I was very surprised he was still there waiting for us because I've been doing this almost 10 years and very few times do do people follow through when I try to offer help. Through a program called Phoenix Cares and the Phoenix Rescue Mission, they got Billy a place to stay. Now seven months clean, Billy is working toward his own place and a job. I don't have anything to give them other than I might thank you, and it's like I don't even feel like that's enough. To me, helping someone like Billy is a huge success. Billy, for the first time in years, filled with hope for the future. I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15, Arizona. That's why we call them the good guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, an awesome, awesome story, and there's more stories like that out there.